Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. After my first video editing basics, ang tutorial naman natin ngayon is about mobile cinematography. And let's talk about it after the short intro. Mobile Cinematography Part 1 is all about transitions. Just a short explanation guys. Transition is the smooth changing of scenes from the previous one going to the next one, making the scene more interesting and eye-catching to watch. In this episode, we will break down my short video na nakita nyo sa simula gamit ang aking mobile phone. With the help of my DJI Osmo Mobile 3 gimbal, I will show you how did I do those transitions and give you some tips on camera movements. And without further ado, let's do this. First is the sky transition. Using a panning movement, follow your subject and after that, move your phone facing the sky. And take note guys, dapat ang end screen nyo will be a full sky frame. And for the second shot, move to a place with a different background. Start the shot by facing the sky and move downwards to reveal the subject. Now here's the result. The next transition is through the floor. Here we just have to focus onto our subject and slowly do a downward movement. Another thing here is dapat yung floor or yung ground na harang sa ating camera should be the same texture, color, or material na gagamitin natin for the next scene. For the shot number 2, we will start from the ceiling and slowly move downwards to reveal the subject. And another tip guys, I used to bend my knees instead of moving my arms to lessen the shakiness of this video. And with just a short editing, here's the result. Next up is the frame blocking. Following your subject while walking sideways is what you call tracking. Now by using the tracking movement, follow your subject hanggang sa ma-reach natin yung certain wall or column na haharang sa ating screen. And for the shot number 2, start from the column and move sideways. Now, check this out. Next is the block screen. To do this transition, you just have to walk slowly towards your subject. At kapag malapit ka na, you just have to press your phone against his shirt hanggang sa ma-reach natin yung black screen effect. Now, let's see it. This is the black screen effect. Sa shot number 2 naman, again, we start with the black screen and reverse the motion that we did in shot number one what we're trying to achieve here guys is to create an illusion na parang tumagos yung subject natin sa ating camera now here's the edited version the next transition is the arc shot here you just have to let your subject to lean on the wall while you were doing a half circling motion around him. Now let's do that to other clips the same way. Next up, the spin shot. Though I'm using a gimbal here, you can also shoot this by handheld 
you just have to hold it firm and rotate your phone slowly. And now let's do this a couple of times. One of the easiest is the whip transition. Usually, it starts with a static shot and ends with a fast running movement which will create a blurred shot like this na gagamitin natin sa ating transition. And for the second shot, we will start with a blurred frame and ends it with our subject in the middle of our frame. And this is what it looks like. And lastly, the match cut. In this transition, we will use again the tracking movement. While tracking, move with the same speed and distance with your subject. And always maintain that your subject is in the middle of your frame. Now let's do this for each clip. So guys, doon na nagtatapos ang ating mobile cinematography tutorial about transitions. Sana marami kayong natutunan and please don't forget to subscribe on my YouTube channel para tuloy-tuloy lang din akong makapag-share sa inyo ng mga tips on how to improve your mobile cinematography. And i-hit nyo na rin yung notification bell para updated kayo sa mga susunod ko pang gagawin na videos. Yun lang guys and I'm out!